and indeed the, the motion that was moved in Parliament, urging the Minister of Finance to operationalize the road fund, in my opinion, is very timely. What we are suffering from right now is very little resources being put in that very critical fund that was established specifically for the maintenance of the very many roads that have opened as a country. And because of that, there has been a lot of degradation that has happened to our very critical connections, particularly at the districts and communities, what we call district and community access roads. I am a very happy person that this has finally come to the decision that we have just arrived at as parliament. It is going to make our work very easy. What therefore I promise the country is that once this money is channeled to the districts, ours will be to critically make sure that it is not stolen by some of the unscrupulous district engineers. So that the population of Uganda starts feeling the impact of their taxes. This is what is going to happen. How, how are you going to do this monitoring? Because it is, it is, we do, we have been doing it, we will continue to do it, it's now just stepping up. The monitoring will be stepped up to ensure that there is value for money and, and a real, because the moment these resources are channeled adequately to the districts and the districts really work according to their road, uh, the, the plans that they have. And we activate what we call the district road committees and the road committees become very vigilant, know what they are supposed to do. We will be home and dry. I am very happy. Road fund is, uh, the road fund will get taxes from the levies, so I cannot say this, this much, but it is going to be fairly huge amounts of resources that will go to the local governments.